Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Galatians 5, 19-21. Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are sexual immorality, impurity, indecent behavior, idolatry, witchcraft, hostilities, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and other things. Things like this, of which I forewarn you, just as I have forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5, 19-21. Here's my devotional. Deeds of the flesh. According to a commentary, Paul apologizes for having to make this list, because the works of the flesh are evident. Yet, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he knows it is important to be specific because we must know specifically how we, we walk in the flesh. We can't see the flesh, but we can see what it does. Some have sought to organize this list in four categories. Sensual sins, religious sins, interpersonal sins, and social sins. We shouldn't regard this as an exhaustive list, but it adequately gives the idea of what the person who walks in the flesh does sexual immorality or adultery, impurity, indecent behavior are all sensual sins relating to sex. Idolatry and witchcraft are religious sins. They are sins of worship and remind us that if it isn't only tragic to worship the wrong God or seek the wrong spiritual power, it is sinful as well. Idolatry is a worship of any God except the Lord God revealed to us by the Bible and in the person of Jesus Christ. Hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envies, murders, these are each people's sins. They are sins that primarily express themselves in how we treat others. God cares about our sexual and moral purity and He cares about the purity of our religion and worship but he also passionately cares about how we treat one another. The fact that Paul uses more words to describe these interpersonal sins shows how important our treatment of each other is to God. Drunkenness, revelries, this can be thought of as social sins, sins that are often committed in the company of other people. The fact that Paul includes these two sins is this, in his list shows that they were works of the flesh, that the Galatian Christians had to be on guard against. Romans 13, 12 to 23 lists drunkenness and revelries as part of the Christians' past of darkness that now need to be cast off as we walk in the light. The Bible gives us a guide to watch over these sins that shows that we are in the flesh. Reflection. What sins do you struggle with from the list that Paul gave here? Oh, I'm still struggling with um, outbursts of anger. Um, I'm still a long way to um, to getting there because uh, my past has uh, been used by the enemy to open doors for me to get angry. I learned anger at a very young age, uh, maybe as young as two years old and I stayed angry for a long time because I did not dealt with it, didn't dealt with it, didn't deal with it for probably over five decades. So um, I know that the flesh has, uh, I know that the flesh has been, has been, <clears throat> I know that the spirit has entered in my, in my spirit because I have committed to the Lord. I was born again eight years now, going nine but I'm still being um, transformed in that aspect. Um, otherwise, all the other things, I think I have uh, more or less been walking with the Spirit on that. So what sins do you struggle with? Uh, talk to the Lord and find out uh, how you can uh, be transformed by the Holy Spirit in that aspect because when we have a weakness, we need to... Um, as the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord.
God loves you and so do I.